Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Physio. In this module, I want to go through how you can create your own shape, your own stencil, how you can link data from an Excel spreadsheet, and how you can set up data graphics. So on the screen, I've got the finished article. I've got some link data here coming from an Excel spreadsheet. I've got data graphics on these shapes, and I've created my own little stencil. So I'm going to do all of that from scratch so you can see how it works. So I'm doing control N to get myself a new file. So now I've got myself a brand new file. What I can do is create my own shape. First of all, I'm going to use this one executive notch and I'm going to tailor it a little bit. So if I just make this a lot bigger than that, so this is what you get. Now I don't want this picture. So I need to go up to the org chart tab, which I'm on. And then you've got an option there to delete that. Then in the middle there, you've got shape data. If I right click and go into data and then define shape data, I'm going to get rid of all of these except, um, don't want that, don't want that. I do want that. I don't want that and I don't want that. And I want to add a couple. So I've got the name. I'm going to go new. I'm going to call this appointment. So this is me adding things. It's just going to be a text string. And then a new one, I want salary. Salary, which is going to be currency. That one. So that's what I want in shape data. Clicking OK to that. So they, they come up there and you can fill those in. I'll put my details in there for now. You can see that. Steve and appointment. I'll just put sales. And salary two one two one two three. Now that information hasn't come through on here, and I want it to come through onto this shape, and I don't want the shape data to be sitting like that either. So what I need to do is create a data graphic and then have that sitting in the middle. So to do that, I'm going up to the data tab and advanced data graphics and create new data graphic. So new item. So the first one is going to be name. I want that to display as text. I don't want there to be a label on it. It just takes up too much space, so go not shown. I'll click OK to that. And then going through the whole thing, you're just picking the same three fields really. So and then it'll be appointment. That's going to be text also. Don't want a label for that either. Not shown. OK. And last but not least, currency or the salary field it's going to be text also no label apply okay yeah so now it sits out over there and i can still see that so this information is what i've typed into there but i don't want to see that as well so what you need to do is go back into it edit the data graphic and tick this option at the bottom there where it says hide shape data, clicking OK to that. Now, in edit, if I go back into it for a second, you could, if I edit one of these items, edit item, you can take these ticks off and position these around. So at the moment they're over here on the right, far, far right, it says there, you can take that tick off and position them through this box, or if I cancel that for now, this little circle, you can pick it up, and move the whole lot into the center of this. Now, if I want them to be centered, if I click on that, go to home, and then play around with these, same in that one, I can center them myself in this box, which is what I want to do. Center like so. If you don't like the design of this, you can pick a different design set and maybe you need to change the color on this so if i go back to home i'll change that to yellow see if that stands out any better yes it does so I'll just put that to yellow this is going to be the, the the box that you're going to use for all your shapes so you need to get it right that's how i want it so now i need to add this to a stencil now the stencil i haven't got one i have got one but i'm going to create a new one so when it says more shapes, you go across there and you go new stencil metric and then it opens it up and then you just drag that in 
and rename it my shape I'm going to call it like so so now it would work like this if I bring that on there it's got all that details in so what I've done wrong there is I should have deleted that first which I will let's get rid of this so I don't want any details in it then drag it in and I'll have to call it my shape again my shapes put an s on it so it's different and then i can delete that one don't want that so let's get rid of it i shape so when i bring it on it is blank now if i put the connector tool on and then bring another one on it will automatically snap in underneath it okay it's telling me i can drop it on there just put the pointer tool back on a minute move that over so it's lined up now click on that one, click the pointer tool, drag it on, it automatically snaps into its correct position. I'll just make this a bit smaller now so we can have a few different boxes on there. So as long as you connect it onto the, the, the sort of like management level, when you drag this shape on, it will just snap itself into the right position and you can see it's building it up there. So if I want something to come out of that one, I've got it on. I can just start positioning them. It's giving me guiding lines as I do that. So that one there is going to come out of the bottom and so on and so on. Happy teddy bear. Knock that back off. Now I've got my little organizational chart there. So if I just um, move this as a block into the middle. Now what I wanted to do um, was use external data and do all this. So again, I'm going to get rid of all of these, pressing delete, because I want to get some external data from an Excel spreadsheet. So I need to go data, quick import, and it should be in this list because I've just done it. That one, it's just a little tiny spreadsheet. And then it'll suck that information in and it'll appear over here. And then I click done. Now. I've got the people here and I've got different appointments. So what I'm going to do is I've got that shape connected. I'm going to click on um, Bob. He is the director. So he's like the top level. So I drag him on. And then all Bob's details appear from this and it's linked. So underneath Bob, I want the manager, which is Anne. So I need to go back to home. Click on the connector tool so it does the connections for me and drag Anne onto the screen. Now, I also want to come out from the top level. Um, no, I don't. I want sales people to come out of here. So I'll pull Bill underneath that one and I'll click back onto Anne and I'll pull Steve into there. And then underneath Steve, the two admin people can come up directly down underneath them like this. There you go. Make sure you take off the connector tool. I'm just going to save my stencil so I can use it elsewhere. We'll call it um, shapes. So I've saved my stencil and I've got my little organizational chart linked up to an excel spreadsheet and i've created the data graphics sitting on top like that so that's all i want to talk about in this little model how you can set up your own data graphics your own shapes your own stencil and then create your own organizational chart so thanks for your time i'll catch you on the next one